With Mishima, sometimes it's a great idea instead of using a brush to put your slip into an applicator tool. So this slip is pretty thick, so obviously I'm not gonna be able to suck this up into the applicator tool. So I'm gonna add a little in here and put a little water in it to thin it out. And you can mix it with a spoon, but it actually mixes quite a bit quicker if you use a brush to work those clay materials in. So I'm looking for, you can see this is pretty thick, like pudding. I'm looking for maybe like heavy cream. I don't want it so thin that it's gonna run out of my lines that I created, but I need it thin enough that I can get it into the applicator tool. So, this already has some in it, but you want to compress the tool, put the tip in and decompress to suck the material up in there, compress it again, put the tip in, decompress it to fill it up. Each time you want to kind of tap this so the material gets to the bottom. And then you do want to clean this off before you use it or you're going to transfer all this colored slip to places you might not want it. Once your applicator tool is loaded up, just tap it on the table to move the material towards the tip and just start to fill your line. So the big thing with the Mishima is you wanna make sure um, the depth of line is at least an eighth inch deep or else when you go to scrape, there is potential you could scrape your whole design away. So I'm just doing a line design that I put on using my needle tool while my piece was on the wheel. You can see a video of it that I'll be posting. But I just wanna fill up this line. Now there is potential that as this drier leather hard clay starts to absorb the moisture of this wetter slip, that the slip is gonna recede down. Like you can maybe see right there that divot. So there's potential that you'll get some of those divots that you need to come in and refill the line. Cause you just wanna make sure you're filling up that whole line. So when you scrape it, you're gonna get a nice flush surface. So just fill in the line, let it dry till there's no longer a sheen and it doesn't transfer onto your hand. Add more if you have to, let it dry again so there's no more of a sheen and then you're gonna scrape it away. You can see the slip has lost its sheen. When I push it, it's no longer squishy and wet. It is nice and kind of a soft leather hard. So I am ready to scrape it. I like to use this metal rib, but you could also use a carving tool that had a flat edge if you would like. I put my fingers on one end, my thumb on the other and just slightly curve it and I just start to scrape away that excess slip. That will also compress that slip into your line. So you're gonna get a nice, clean, delicate line. So I'll do a first pass with the rib and then come back and reassess and take away the slip anywhere else that it needs to be scraped away from. And then I'll take a clean sponge and I'll do some tidying up with what the rib is not getting. Every time I use the sponge, I rotate it so I'm not just taking my clay body and wiping it back over the colored slip. So rotate and clean up, but you can see that gives a nice clean area there. So you'll just keep going until all you have is your nice refined line. Ta-da! Yay! Yay!